But here's the thing, when you're trying to do shit in life, really when you're moving up or you're taking on a lot of tasks, your time to put into personal development, into uh, consumer information is very limited. And so you really wanna make the most out of that. So welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're not gonna be talking about SMA specifically, but I'm probably gonna uh, cover a topic that's gonna be even more important for a lot of you. What we're gonna be talking about today is inputs. What information are you gonna be consuming? What information are you gonna be putting into your brain so that you get an incredible output and you can get incredible results both in business, personal life, relationships, etc., etc. And the reason why I find this topic of, of extreme importance and the reason why I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, an incredible lesson uh, that I learned I think it was three years ago, but they really changed my life. There's this thing uh, that's really well known in the programming coding uh, space, which is garbage in, garbage out. Quality of your outputs are gonna be equal to the quality of your inputs. And so I see a lot of, you know, a lot of people get into the entrepreneurship space, a lot of people get into the business space. What they'll do is they'll never give much thought to the, the content they're consuming. Maybe they're, they'll consume a video here and there. Maybe they'll listen to a bunch of, you know, you know 10 million different gurus. Uh, maybe they'll pick up a, a book every time, uh, you know, someone that they respect uh, recommends them a one. All in all, it's really just a lot of chaos and there's not a clear agenda. And without a clear agenda, without a specific guideline and really a specific criteria to pick the information that you consume, you're gonna end up wasting uh, you know, a lot of time consuming information that's not really right for you, that's not really necessary for you to take things to the next level and really slow down your growth. And so you know, the, the first thing that, you know, that I wanna do before I get into the video is actually show you guys, you know, the, I think it's what, six books I picked up. Uh, these are the last six books that I picked up. Uh, when I pick up books, I like to batch them. I like to uh, you know, buy in, in batch. And so by the end of this video, it's gonna be very clear uh, the, the criteria that I followed to select the books that I, that I picked up and that I'm gonna be reading next, right? Because a lot of you might be thinking, well, it's just, you know, books, he picked up some books, you know, what what's this whole thing about? But here's the thing, when you're trying to do shit in life and when you're, when really when you're moving up or you're taking on a lot of tasks, uh, like, you know, for example, building a business, you know, uh, creating a personal brand for me, um, I, I do a bunch of consulting, coaching, et cetera, et cetera, your time to put into personal development, into uh, consumer information is very limited. And so you really wanna make the most out of that. And so. With that being said, let's get into the juice of the video, which is the, the, the distinction you should make when picking the information that you're gonna consume. So the way I like to think about it is two categories. So the first category is just in time information, okay? And the second category is just in case information. But before I get into them, here's, here's the approach that most people take when they pick up a book, when they select uh, the next video that, that they're gonna watch on YouTube, uh, when they select the, the next podcast that they're gonna listen to, okay? They kind of, you know, just, they have a bunch, you know, they have a pool of content um, that's not specifically uh, tailored to them, that's not, that has affinity to them, but that's not directly uh, related to the specific thing that they're doing right then and that they, sh that they, that they need, right? And so, you know, there's a bunch of pieces of content here, um, and what they'll do is they'll pick, you know, one or two, one, two or three. Once they have finished these pieces of content, uh, they'll go back to the pool and then they'll pick one, two, three, and they'll repeat the cycle. But what they'll do as well is they, they won't exhaust all uh, resources in this circle, but they'll, they'll make the circle even bigger, right? This approach is a complete no agenda approach, an approach that doesn't really get you um, very far. Instead, the approach that I really think adds a ton of value is you first, you first ask yourself, what is it that I'm trying to accomplish? What is, what's, what's the biggest change that I'm, trying to have, that, I'm, that I'm trying to make in my life? What's the biggest leverage that I wanna have, right? And so ask yourself, you know, what? What's that big thing that you wanna accomplish? So for me, for example, uh, is I just wanna know more than anyone when it comes to building a brand, when it comes to marketing a brand, because that's gonna make me uh, a lot more valuable to uh, clients and I'm gonna be able to sign those even bigger clients, right? Uh, and it's gonna, it's gonna give me a, a new level of, of authority as I really move into the, the consulting space uh, for big, big brands. And so what I wanna do is I really wanna you know, garner a ton of marketing experience and I wanna read everything that uh, the, the biggest marketing experts have written about, right? So that is that, you know, that for me, for example, is marketing. And then what I'll do is I'll ask myself, okay, who are, who are the top marketers, right? So top. What are, the, you know, what are the top marketing books? Uh, then what I'll do as well is, what are the people that I, that I admire you know, in different industries? For example, maybe the health and wellness uh, industry, uh, the you know, people that may not be building an agency, but that may know a lot about marketing. So 
you know, what are some of the, the, the recommendations for, from people that I admire? Last thing that I want to do is I want to compare the old versus the new, okay? Uh, especially with marketing, you know, this, this is just something that applies to marketing a lot, uh, but a lot of the, the old content, you know, you know, books that have been written, you know, 20 years ago, uh, like Breakthrough Advertising, a lot of those principles still hold, uh, applicable, still hold a lot of uh, weight behind them and, and they're incredibly applicable to this day. I want to consume a ton of old content, uh, which principles still apply today, but I also want to be on the cutting edge, right? So that might be a lot of online advertising, Facebook ads, you know, even TikTok ads, TikTok advertising, getting a very clear uh, idea of where we're heading, but also having a clear idea of the past uh, and, you know, some of the people that really uh, changed the industry in the past, people like Ogilvy, uh, people like Claude Hopkins, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's kind of the, the approach that I follow. This is really the difference between just in time and just in case. This method right here, is just in time. Why? Because it is time sensitive and the information that I that I get from this process is gonna be is gonna be applicable applicable right away. And this is the main problem that a lot of people that are doing just in case that are following uh, just in case approach uh, approach have, right? They might consume a lot of content. Uh, you know they, they might consume consume content but they lack the action part, right? They lack actions. It's not really because they don't want to take action, but simply they don't see it where they could apply it in their lives, right? And without this action component, that information just pretty much sits idle uh, in your brain and it doesn't do much and it'll just disappear uh, as time goes on because you're not applying it, right? This approach that a lot of people follow is a bit of a waste of time simply because there's not a clear connection between information and action. But with this method, the action, the application is right away and there's no way around it, right? Because this, you know, directly applicable to what you're doing. And so you're gonna be constantly applying this information. You're gonna be constantly uh, thinking of the ways that what you're reading applies to your life. And this, you know, just by making this distinction, the content that you consume is gonna be much more valuable uh, to you. Having said that, and having vouched a lot for the just-in-time method, I have taken this approach uh, many, many times. But what I would say is, this approach is completely fine when you're just starting out. Maybe when you're just getting into personal development, when you're just starting to develop that, the habit of reading or consuming content and, and you're trying to move up in life. Why? Because you don't have a clear direction. And so the more, uh, the more that you read, the more directions that you, that you read about uh, and the more directions that you take, then that just increases the, the likelihood of, of you, you know, liking something and then you know, really moving into that space. But once you've, once you've chosen your, the, the direction that you want to take, this just-in-time approach is definitely the way to, uh, the way to go. Uh, and you should really ditch the just-in-case approach because it's going to waste you a ton of time. Um, and it's not going to have the, the, the same results that you can expect with a, with a just-in-time uh, method. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys liked this uh, concept of video. Uh, it's not directly correlated to SMA, but what I want to do is I want to start putting out a ton more content around entrepreneurship, personal development, mindset, uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm, you know, I'm really passionate about uh, and that directly correlates to uh, business success and social media marketing agency success. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So go ahead and do that right now. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'm putting out a ton of content there. Daily stories, meaningful posts. If you wanna check that out, here's my username. And lastly, guys, go ahead and check out the, the link in the bio. That will be a direct link to my free Facebook group community, The Client Closers, just a group of like-minded people trying to scale their agency and move up in life. Uh, we're talking sales, outreach, and really a 360 approach to SMA. I've capped it at 100 people, so go ahead and check out the link in the bio. I hope everything is going well in your agency journey, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.